Hey, my name is Adam and Shan. I'm a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. And today I'm going to teach you how to use a straw to improve your speaking voice. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me. So the straw has been used many, many times to teach people how to improve their singing voice and get their vocal cords functioning more optimally. But the same thing can occur with speaking as well. You may be a teacher, a lawyer, a public speaker, or something that I haven't thought of, but you use your voice every day. And if you want to learn how to use your voice more optimally, using a straw can be one of the best ways to do it. Now it's important to try to find a thin straw. So we want to try to find one that's not going to be too thick. And we also want to try to find one that's going to be long-ish. So we don't want to do it like through a tiny little thing. We want to try to do it through a longer straw. So I just have, you know, your basic kids straw right here from the dollar store. And this straw can really help you phonate better, which is going to help you speak better because we use the same instrument for speaking and for singing. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a way to find your most optimal way of speaking. It starts off by just doing some slides in your speaking range. So we're just going to go not going too high, not going too low. We just want to stay within your optimal speaking range and just do some slides together. If you're interested in learning more on how to sing, I created a resource that I wish would have been around when I was starting to sing. With the subscription I've created, you get access to all of the courses that I've created and more that are coming. You get access to all of my private lesson recordings that I have from other students so you can learn vicariously through them. And you get monthly one-on-one -on -one lessons with me. All of this is available for one low monthly price and it's a very well-rounded approach to learn how to sing. Click the link down below to get access now. Now try to go really slowly with me. This is going to help you find those spots and those pockets of resonance where it just feels like the sound resonates easier. Good. Now, what I want you to do, and already just after doing that, speaking becomes so much easier. It Everything that needs to happen in order to sing better happens using the straw. And then after, when we speak onwards from after we've done that straw exercise, it becomes so much easier because the vocal tract is set up for optimal sound production. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to try to stop in the slide at a spot where you feel like your voice really buzzes, where you feel like a lot of vibration in the front of your face. And I really want you to try to focus on where that sensation is. And once you hit that sensation, I want you to stop and hold that note. So we're going to go and your note might be totally different than mine. So don't worry about being on a different pitch than me. Go to where your voice feels most comfortable. Mm -hmm. So that note seemed to be quite comfortable for me. Now let's isolate that note. Mm -hmm. Good. Once you've found your note, I want you to then pull the straw out while continuing to make the sound. Mm -hmm. What this does is it helps to draw the perfect setup that we have with the straw to a regular phonation without the straw. Then what we want to do is say a line after. So we're going to go, mm -hmm. hello, how are you? and just allow the airflow to carry us through and to continue that proper phonation that we have. Mm, hello, how are you? How's it going? This is kind of where we want the voice to kind of sit at that pitch. Obviously, it's going to have quite a bit of motion down and up, and you want to have inflection in your voice because that's actually going to also help with releasing a lot of muscle tension. But this is going to help you get set up for speaking more properly, a little bit more easily and see if that doesn't make a difference. So when you pull that straw out and you say, 
hello, how are you? See if your voice isn't produced a little bit easier. And then what I want you to do is try to focus when you're speaking on keeping that same buzz, that same sort of vibration you felt on the front of your face while you're speaking, no matter what you're doing. So if you're speaking to your class or you're speaking to a courtroom or whatever it is, you're speaking to an auditorium full of people or you're a singer, this can really help to improve your speaking voice. And if you know, most people, even if you are a singer, you're going to be speaking way more than you are singing. And so if we can improve your speaking voice, your singing voice will improve also. And as well, if you can improve your speaking voice as a professional voice user, you're going to find much more job satisfaction when it doesn't feel like you have to work so hard to produce the sound. So I hope you like this video. Practice with this progression that we did every day to just find, always retrain that proper setup of the vocal tract. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see more videos like this, check out that one. See that right there? It's a good one. Check it out.